guys, it is so empty here. It's like 8.40. I just got my iPhone replaced. Or not really like the whole phone. It's just the screen protector because I had a huge bubble here. And it wasn't me who like applied it. It was a lady that worked at the Apple store. So I was like, I kind of paid a lot for the tempered glass protector. And I needed to like work. So I went back and they were nice enough to like replace it for free. So now I have a clear skin. Also, here's how the iPhone looks like. The bubble used to be so, ooh, what is that? Used to be so big, guys. Like it's on the corner. And I tried to like stick it overnight, like pressed it on something hard, but it didn't work. Hi guys, happy, happy Saturday. Um, I just finished filming my iPhone 12 Pro unboxing video. And since I have full face of makeup on, I was like, you know, why don't I just do a, a little room decor haul for you guys. If you're new here, hello. Hi, my name is Farina. But I had a leak on my ceiling a couple weeks ago and I literally had to remove everything in my room. And then I had to camp out in my brother's room for a couple weeks and I asked the painters if they could paint my walls white because before I used to have like a beige wall. It's like about the same color as my pompas here. Um, and I was like, you know what? I kind of want a new vibe. I want a new room so ever since they painted my room white i was like i want a new vibe new theme in my room i'm not gonna bring everything back that i removed from my room now my room is a lot brighter cleaner and there's like less items now i even cleaned out my closet so if you guys haven't seen the huge closet clean out i'll put the links down below and i feel like an adult guys like i honestly feel like an adult shopping for room decor instead of clothes so i'm very excited to have gotten some of the packages already my tip for you guys if you guys are trying to redecorate your room or if you just like decorating your house is to not buy everything all at once because i feel like you kind of just like figure out here and there like it doesn't come to you all at once for the new theme that i'm going for i want like that neutral brownish white color it's like a bali bohemian inspired yes yeah, so i want to incorporate like a little bit of a beach theme in my room so let's start off with pillows i got two pillows from walmart these are basically pillow inserts because i picked up a couple of like you know those pillowcases and this is just in this size these are not your regular pillow sizes i just want like a smaller one so i can fit them in the cases that i got don't sleep on walmart they actually have pretty affordable pillows and they come in packs so this was a pack of two and i believe it was like less than ten dollars honestly or less than twenty dollars and then i also got this smaller one and this is from the brand phantoscope it's a premium pillow insert this is 12 by 20 inch this is an 18 by 18 inch and then i have this huge package and i believe this is the basket that i got <gasps> oh my god this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys can see it now. Here, let me just take it out. I got this basket because I have these like throw blankets and little white furry blankets on my bed and then sometimes like those mini throw pillows and I don't have a place to put them when I'm about to like go to sleep. So I was like, you know, why don't I just buy a cute basket that I can, you know, stuff my blanket in and it looks so cute. And I got this from Walmart and oh my God, it is so freaking sturdy here. I believe this was also on sale. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so cute, it's so cute. I freaking love it. It's very spacious. Moving on to the next package, I have a couple of home decor items from Shein. I have been wanting to try their home decor because they actually have really nice bedding and like sheets and like pillowcases and just like anything home decor. But I've always been just like, eh, I don't really need it. Like I don't need a new bedding right now because I'm not like moving or anything. But since I had to, you know, basically redo my whole room, I was like, okay, now's time. I feel like if you guys are, you know, balling in a budget and you're trying to decorate your new place, she definitely has a lot of really nice items. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so... First item we have is this macrame. I think these are called macrames, but it's like, oh my god, how cute is this pillowcase? And you guys, the quality is honestly 
freaking insane like insane in the best way possible like it doesn't feel cheap at all like i swear on my life it doesn't feel cheap and i feel like you can get these from anthropology for 200 dollars. the thing is like heavy but like not heavy in a bad way next i picked up this silk pillowcase and i have a long pillow it's like a body pillow and i literally only have one pillowcase for that and i always use it so i was like um i need a new pillowcase so i got this silk one yeah well, okay wait oh, hold on i just got this gold silk pillowcase obviously it's probably not real silk for the amount of money that i paid but you know it's something and i got this white bed sheet i'm not gonna go ahead and open this um, I'm just going to insert a picture of the bed sheet here just because I want to wash this first. It has these little like pom-poms as designs and this is so soft. Wait. Oh my god. This is so soft. I can't. I kid you not. I hate doing the laundry but now I'm so excited just so I can like wash all of these. We got another pillowcase. another what is that is that a lash no look at the detail it is so freaking beautiful guys the quality is superb like do you just look at the little details yeah okay it's kind of dusty though that's what i don't like but i'm gonna wash this tomorrow oh my goodness you guys are not ready for this you are not ready for this <laughs> So the next one I have are these hanging um, braided macrames, I think that's what you call them. And oh, how cute. This is amazing. Wait, is this? No. <gasps> Guys. Can we just talk about the detail? <gasps> Oh, I did get a coaster. I, I was like, mm, I need to get a coaster because every time I drink my matcha and since it's like ice, it like sweat, my cup sweats. And I have a white table and I just hate it when there's like water. But it is so cute. Like look how, mm, quality, quality guys, quality. Not one item that I've opened so far is like shitty. Like everything is so good. So this is another decor. It's like a hanging macrame and this is the design. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I got this white silicone ice cube tray and the sizes of the cubes are so tiny. I would say like extra, extra small, tiny. And these are perfect for my matcha because the, I mean, I use like regular ice cubes right now, but it's just like hard to mix them and like stir them. So I feel like this size right here is just perfect and since it's silicone it's gonna be really easy for me to like pop off the ice Ooh, i'm so freaking excited i can't i cannot it's just dusty like that's my only complaint it's super dusty so oh my goodness i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm about to sneeze another great quality I promise you you will not regret buying any of the pieces i just showed you guys because i'm honestly and genuinely like so shocked like i wasn't expecting a lot especially with the amount of money that you're gonna pay for these because like look at the quality guys it's not flimsy it's not thin it's freaking oh it's amazing so this is another bed sheet set and this is like a silk material it's obviously fake but it's just so again i need to wash this first before i use it um i don't know the quality yet so i'll keep you guys updated with that <gasps> it's so beautiful guys the details guys the details but i wish you could feel the material i'm, I'm done and then last but not least we have another bed sheet i can't really tell you guys much about the bed sheets just yet because I want to wash them before putting them on my bed because you never know like where they come from but yeah oh my gosh i'm so freaking excited ah, i'm so excited I, I like i can go ahead and do the laundry right now just picked up sushi from aburi sushi and it's like happy hour every single day 
So my order was 15 salmon, 5 yellow tail, 2 spicy albacore, 2 yuzu tuna, 1 eel, garlic edamame, and alba crunch roll. smell bad but they're just like super dusty i'm just gonna turn it inside out if i can to a new video. Today is actually content shoot day. I'm going out with Ralph to shoot some content around 1 because that's when my father gets home. He's currently using my car right now. But I need to start getting ready now so I can film other brand deals. Also, I have pimple patches on right now because after I wash my face, I noticed that I have two budding pimples and i'm like mm, i need to dry that before i start putting on my makeup so hopefully they dry up a little but i just want to say hello good morning everyone also the straw is from liquid iv they sent the cutest pr recently with like a personal a glow um ice cooler and i i literally bring it everywhere with me every time i go to the beach or if i have to shoot and i just like put all my drinks there and it keeps it cool they also gave us these silicone um reusable straws which honestly i prefer them more than the metal ones because i think they're a lot better on your teeth so last night i put together a couple of outfits they're already done they're just in my closet right now and then i'll bring them out and like pack them but i couldn't vlog it last night because my camera died and i couldn't find my two other extra batteries so what i do is i actually go on my reminders app um i believe this is in every single iphone out there it's like a new app not a new app but like they recently added it i just have this folder that says photo shoot and you basically just tap new reminder and then i have to shoot my pretty little thing so i have three outfits with them that i have to shoot so i'm gonna do pretty little thing number one pretty little thing number two and pretty little thing number Three. And I don't remember if I have any IG stories with them, but usually when I shoot content, I literally just shoot boomerangs. I love boomerangs. So I just go pretty little thing IG stories. I don't know if it's required. I don't think so. But it's always just like nice just in case like they give you a link or something for like your swipe up link. When I shoot content, I like to basically wear the same pants and then just like change the top because since... I'm shooting outside and I'm basically changing in the car. I want to like just be able to change as fast as possible because one, I don't want to get all naked in my car. Like you don't know who's watching or whatever and you don't want creeps to be like looking into your car. And just like, There's just a lot of horror stories in my mind. I'm going to put on this um, heat tamer leave-in spray. This is a protective spray for your hair. So every time I like use heat tools on my hair, I always always use protective spray
finished taking, not taking, I just finished shading my hair. Um, I'm looking at the time frame for how long I filmed it and I guess I, it only took me like 10 minutes or like 14 minutes to straighten my hair. Every ounce of my being wants to give myself a curtain bang, but only because I've seen it on TikTok. But the thing is, if I touch my hair, my hairdresser, my hairstylist will literally murder me. She will literally murder me. I might just have to wait until the next time I go to the salon and get like a haircut and ask her if I can have curtain bangs. And the last time I went, I was like, hi, I want to dye my hair black. She's like, no, we are staying light. And I was like, oh, okay. Hello guys. So I just got to Pasadena and we're shooting some outfit. It is so pretty here. It's my first outfit. Good afternoon. This is my outfit. I'm kind of proud of my first fall outfit of the year. It's finally like kind of chilly here in SoCal now. Like it's super windy outside and it's also like 65 degrees. I'm wearing this like brown sweatshirt from Shein. Then my necklace, it's like my last name is from Vibe Season. And then I also have another necklace and it just says Farina. So it's literally, you know, my name, Farina. Both of these are from Vibe Season. My sweatpants, which are also like these dark chocolate brown are from Shein. I hauled these a while ago and they're so comfy. My shoes are these faux Balenciagas. Uh, I got this from Boohoo a while ago and they're like almost brand new. I think I've only worn it once and I was like, I think it would look really good with this outfit and I was completely correct. And my earrings are from Link the Label. They are an Instagram boutique that sells really, really affordable but like high quality jewelry. So they sent this in a PR a couple weeks ago and I have been wearing it every single day, honestly. And yeah, that's my outfit, guys. Um, Also, can you guys let me know if you guys want Vlogmas this year? vlogmas or like december in general in the youtube community especially like beauty lifestyle community is super freaking stressful because there's vlogmas and if you guys are not familiar with vlogmas it's when a content creator basically vlogs every single day leading up to christmas so that's starting december 1st until december 25th but some people do it weekly some people do it daily i've done it daily in the past and i've missed like a couple of days here and there but I don't know what you guys want. Do you guys want daily vlogs or weekly vlogs? I feel like I'm gonna try to do weekly this year because with COVID and everything, like I can't really like go out and travel and do a lot nowadays. So I feel like a weekly would be okay, but let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys have any other, you know, ways I should do vlogmas this year, let me know. I am back guys. I washed these in the washer yesterday. So they are brand spanking new. I'm gonna go ahead and put the inserts. I am so excited. So I got these pillows from Walmart. These are not like your pillows that you go to sleep with. These are just like literally throw pillows. It fits. 
pillow number one. Wow, I'm so happy. Second pillow. How freaking cute, you guys. These are all from Shein, guys. I will put the links down below. They're super, super affordable and really, really great quality. Also, the new bed sheet that I got from Shein, this white one here with the white ruffle, came with two pillowcases and then one duvet, but you just need the insert. It is 100% cotton and it is honestly super, super soft. And then I also got like a silk material from Shein and it's also really, really nice. Also, this is the bed sheet that I was talking about. It's like this ruffled one. I'll put all the links down below. It is so freaking soft. If you're going to get a bed sheet from Shein, get this one. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. And it has a lot of reviews on their website. It is so freaking soft and it's 100% cotton. I don't know if I'm going to hang these up yet. These little macrame ones. I refuse to not vlog anything and everything that I do starting right now because my outfit is so cute and I just realized that no one was able to see it outside because I was literally in my car for the most part and then dropped it off the post office and then I came home. Let's just talk about my video. Like the tones, the color, the style. I refuse to believe. <laughs> Anyways, what we're going to do right now is we're going to vote. writing in my ballot i'm gonna go drop it off at my nearest um drop off area tomorrow so right now i'm gonna go ahead and answer some emails i got one two five six seven eight nine i got 11 emails to answer to so let's go ahead <laughs> some agreements and just you know campaign briefs and now i'm gonna post uh sponsored content on my ig stories because i'm working with poppy which is like a prebiotic soda that i actually really really like i usually don't drink soda and this is like a healthier soda so the stories that i film is on my work phone this is the strawberry rose from poppy and if you guys are not familiar with poppy it is a prebiotic soda that is really really great for your gut that was like my first round of content that i submitted to them and they said hey great job on the content however you said the wrong flavor i said strawberry rose when it's supposed to be raspberry rose so i had to refilm it and this is the real one. Hey guys, I'm taking a break from filming right now and I'm drinking this very delicious drink from Poppy. If you guys are not familiar with Poppy, it is a prebiotic soda that is really great for your gut. It is vegan, kosher, has non-GMO, and it is also gluten-free. Yeah, so there's like four in total IG stories that I have to post. I'm just gonna go to my influencer brief and make sure that I did all the tags. So I just finished posting them. Here we go. So if you would like to get your hands on Poppy, just go ahead and swipe up or you can go ahead and visit Sprouts. They also have it at Whole Foods. My favorite flavor right now is the Raspberry Rose. There we go. And submit it. Save. Also, I want to update you with the whole shenanigan unfortunate event that happened with my sd card so i was really sad that like my clips from the beach were deleted the one where i went with my friend kiana and it turns out that the video that i was really like really looking forward to like upload in one of my vlogs was actually taken in my old iphone like this is the clip 
that was deleted like i wish it wasn't deleted it was us cutting free 99 pompous grass we're straight up chilling guys and a huge wave came out of nowhere you got me in the mood it feels like 